a group of black farmers from Mississippi and Tennessee are returning to federal court for a hearing on their lawsuit claiming a seed company sold them faulty soybean seeds because of their race. U.S. District Judge John Fowlkes could rule Thursday for calls to dismiss lawsuits filed by Stein Seed Company and its salesman Kevin Cooper. They've called the allegations irresponsible. Stein Seed Company has denied accusations that its salesmen sold thousands of dollars worth of defective seeds to the farmers because they are black. Cooper, in a separate filing, also denies allegations of racism. Soybean farmers David Allen Hall and Tyrone Grayer had high hopes when a farm show salesman told them the seeds. But as the plants began to grow, Hall, Grayer and other black farmers who bought certified seeds from Stein Seed Salesman Kevin Cooper in 2017 noticed that they were shorter and less uniform than plants from other seeds. A bad yield followed. Thomas Burrell, president of the Black Farmers and Agriculturists Association, acknowledges that Cooper and others who represented Stein did not make overtly racist comments. You're not calling me the N-word or another word doesn't mean that you're not racist," said Burrell, a plaintiff in the case. It's what you did. You singled out certain individuals and you sold them seeds you would not sell your white customers. The farmers allege the seeds were much less productive than expected and the salesmen misled them with claims of good yields from soybean plants grown in fertile Mississippi Delta fields. Share this article. Share. I was disappointed because we bought certified seeds, said Hall. If you contract for a thoroughbred horse, you want Secretariat to be born. Not of jackass. The suit claims the good seeds the farmers thought they had bought from Stein were replaced by inferior seeds before delivery. The farmers have gleaned evidence that the seeds they bought were bad. Their lawsuit says the farmers sent the seeds to be tested at Mississippi State University. A report from the university's seed testing laboratory said the seed showed rotten molded seed 